Hey guys, Brian here. So today we're gonna be looking at the Epic Game Store, and I'm gonna show you guys how to move your games from that are on the Epic Game Store from one drive to another without having to re-download them. And I'm sure that any of you guys who have experimented with this know that most of the time it like prevents you from even doing this. So you have to re-download the entire games, which is a pain in the keister, right? So I'm gonna show you how what I do to get around it for when I'm doing benchmarking for all the builds that I do, because I'm telling you right now, if I had to re-download all of the games for the benchmarking, that would be awful. All right, let's get into it. So what you are gonna need to do, and then I'm, we're gonna also show you how to change like the default um, directory too, if that's something you're interested in, or at least it's kind of be like showing you how in this video. Um, okay, so the default one is going to be in your C drive. You're going to go into your program files and then you're going to go on to Epic Games. So today we're going to be working with Enter the Gungeon. It's a very small game and I figured it'd be very easy to show you guys how to transfer it, but it'll work with any game that you use. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and let me go into the Epic Game Store just to show you guys it is installed. Boom. All right. So in here, you go into the library folder, right? And you can see Epic or Enter the Gungeon is currently installed. So what you want to do is go into here, rename this to Enter the Gungeon 1, 2, 12. I don't care what you name it to, just rename it to something that is not the same. It's going to ask you if you have permissions. You're going to say yes, okay? You're going to then take this, um, take this folder that you just renamed, go to wherever you want to save it. I have an E drive that I have all of my games on. And then I separate it between Blizzard games, like Battle.net games, Epic games, which we're in right now, and then Steam games as well. So go ahead and click Epic games. You can already see I have Fortnite 1, Troy Saga, or uh, Total War Troy 1 as well, because I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on with those games too, because they're a little bit bigger and they have to verify, but I transferred them earlier because I didn't want them to take forever in this video. So what you're gonna do then is grab the Enter the Gungeon game, drag it into this folder. And as you can see, since I have an SSD or an M.2 and an SSD, it was really quickly. It might take you a little bit longer depending on which game you have. Then you can go ahead and get rid of it in the, the, um, the C drive. Now we're gonna go into in here. You're gonna, uh, in the Epic Game Store, you're gonna hit the three dots and hit uninstall. So this is gonna make it think that it's not on your system anymore. You're just gonna hit yes. It's gonna pop up like a thing. So you hit yes. And then you can see now it's gone. Now we're going to click install again, and this is your default path. What you want to do is change this to wherever you want your games to be. So I have a games drive. I'm going to go into the E drive, go into Epic Games, and then we're just going to hit select folder. Okay. So you can see right now we can hit install and everything will work. But if I change, I'm going to show you this real quick. The reason why you have to change it to, to the one is because of this reason right here. So if we change this back to normal, we go back in here and we hit install. What's gonna happen is when we move it back to this folder, hit select folder, this right here, this error is gonna pop up. It says directory must be empty. We wanna prevent that, okay? So hit cancel, let's go back in here, let's rechange it back to um, enter the Gungeon 1. And then we can go back and hit install, hit install, at, oh, let's change it back to the, the place where we want to, sorry, kind of uh, jumping around. Epic Games, we're gonna hit select folder, and hit install. Now, this is gonna install really quickly, so I'm gonna stop it. But if it was a game that was larger, obviously it would take a lot longer. So we hit pause, we're gonna hit these three dots and hit cancel install. Okay, now when it says resume, you wanna make sure it says resume. You then go into here, copy all the contents. So just hit cut, don't copy them. If you copy them, it'll actually rewrite them onto your drive. If you cut them, it'll just change where they're supposed to be at. So it'll be a lot quicker. Hit paste. Now they're all in this drive, okay? We can get rid of this enter the dungeon one. And then when we go back in here, hit resume, it's gonna verify. See how quick that was? So yes, this was a small game. So that's why I'm gonna show you the other two games because they're a lot larger, but it verified within, you know, within seconds. The larger the game, it'll take longer to verify all the files are there. So if we wanna do the same thing for Fortnite, we're gonna hit install. As you can see, it changed the default directory to this path that we already set. So if you wanted to change it, if you just wanted to change it to a different um, different folder or whatever, it worked the same way. Hit install. And then once it starts installing, I usually wait until it says one or 2%. Okay, it's taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Okay, so now it says installing one, hit pause. Then again, you're gonna hit cancel installed. It's gonna say resume. We gotta make sure it says resume. If it doesn't say resume, it didn't create the folder for you, which is what you need. 
You're gonna go back into the Fortnite folder, hit cut, go into Fortnite, hit paste. You can then get rid of this Fortnite one and then do the same exact thing. Hit resume and it's gonna start verifying. And it, it again, the larger the game, the longer it will take to verify um, all the contents in there. And if it needs to re reinstall something because it noticed that it was missing any data, it'll reinstall it. Or if it needs to reinstall an update or anything like that, it'll also do that. And we'll sit here. I'm gonna um, do the same thing for Troy, but it's gonna queue. So we're gonna have to sit here. We're gonna have to wait for a minute while it verifies um, the contents for Fortnite. And then we'll do it again in Troy. But the general idea here is that th that's exactly how you would go ahead and get them reinstalled. I know it's kind of a, a it's, it's a workaround that's not that great. If you still have to go through, if you have a lot of games through the Epic Game Store, it'll take a while for you to go ahead and do this, but it's the only workaround that I could find myself um, as of right now. And again, I do this because I test out and I benchmark a lot of games. I, I benchmark Fortnite and I'm gonna be benchmarking um, Total War Troy in my upcoming build. And I don't have time to sit here and let it download 85 gigs or 50 gigs, I think is what Troy is. That's a lot of data, all right? If you're interested in one for Steam, then I will be coming out with a video in the next couple weeks with one on Steam. I plan on doing a tutorial every single Tuesday here on out. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you guys are curious about on the PC, whether it's, you know, through the game store, Steam, Battle.net, doing stuff like this, or initializing a new hard drive, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I can make tutorials on them. Again, my goal is to make a tutorial every single Tuesday for you guys to help make you know, transitioning to the PC life, just having a PC in general, easier for you guys answer some of those questions that you're like, how do I do this or how do I do that? Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.